Hello, this is Black Panther Boxing. This is just doing a quick um, sort of preview prediction video on Golovkin versus Danny Jacobs this weekend. Uh, I actually know somebody going to this. Very, um, very popular fight. Uh, I, I like the fight myself. I think it's an interesting matchup. Uh, um, it should be a good, good fight. I mean, Golovkin coming off a win against Kelbrook in England. Um, I'd like to see how Danny Jacobs approaches this fight. He's um, he's a good boxer. He's a big hitter, uh, but I don't think he'll have any real impact on Glovkin. Glovkin's taken the best shots off probably everyone he's fought at his highest level. Um, Danny Jacobs does hit hard, but I don't think he's got the power to stop Glovkin. I think Lovkin's got a good enough chin, strong enough to take any of the best shots that Danny Jacobs will throw. And I think that's as limited as Danny Jacobs will get be in this fight. He's a great boxer anyway, but in this fight, I don't think he'll have anything more to give than maybe a couple of strong punches. Um, I think he'll get tied up on the ropes a lot. I think he'll get pinned down. Lovkin's brilliant at cutting off the ring. Um... And I remember when Jacobs fought Pirog, I know this was a long time ago, but Pirog was brilliant at cutting off the ring, like Glovkin. Um, and Pirog had Danny Jacobs pinned against the ropes for a lot of the fight. Um, and that's what Glovkin does brilliantly well. Um, just marches his fighters down. Slowly, he doesn't rush things. That's what I like about Glovkin. He doesn't go in there looking for the big punches, even though he knows he has them. He, he takes it nice and easy, nice and slow, wins the rounds, um, and he'll pin you against the ropes and start landing the big bombs. I think this will go, you know, seven, eight rounds, something like that. But I think when Glovkin starts landing the big shots, when on Danny Jacobs on the ropes, I think Danny Jacobs will fold up. Um, I don't see him having much chance, you know, especially after watching a few of their, both their recent fights. I think Glovkin would be too strong, too powerful. Um, very patient and just march him down, march him down. I can't see Jacobs beating him to the punch, uh, maybe counter him well or um, lunge him forward um, with some big shots. But really, I see Glovkin marching him down, putting him on the ropes, putting the pressure on, um, landing the big shots and just hurting and breaking Danny Jacobs down. You know, Danny Jacobs isn't done from here. He can go on again and face... Um, for maybe another world title or maybe a high profile fight but um this could be another rise in glovkin glovkin's resume another name on the list um and what will go on from there we'll have to wait and see i'm sure i'll do a video on his my predictions for him but yeah i can't see this going going the distance you know i could you know i could understand if it went the distance because glovkin's not going to be he never really goes out and looks for the knockouts. However, he marches his opponents down, and if he has them hurt, he will keep throwing. Um, and he is very, very powerful lad. Um, so, yeah, it should be a good, good weekend's worth of boxing. Um, and I'll have to wait and see how it goes. I'll be staying up to watch it. I'm looking forward to seeing Glovkin back in the ring. You know, very active fighter. He likes to fight a lot. He doesn't like to wait around. Uh, which I like about him. He's 34 years old now, so he's going to try to get as many in. Um, 34 is a good age. He wouldn't have um, aged too much yet. He, uh, he'll still be in great condition. You know, his footwork and his hand speed will still be very quick. You know, unlike someone like David Hay, who's a few years older, who evidently a lot slower than he used to be. Um, but that is with a lot more weight added on as well, so be interesting to see how Glovkin ages over the next few years as well, whether that will affect his, um, how good he is, but he's a, he's a very standstill boxer anyway, he marches down the ring standstill, so it may not affect him too much, but we'll have to wait and see, he does take big shots, I'm sure Jacobs will land a big shot, um, but I think Glovkin will take it and move forward, um, be a good fight to watch though.